there is an earthy in front of me. So those who are Advent listeners of the Lights of Midnight podcast, um, you know how I talk about my weekly experiences? Well, <laughs> right now I am at the location where I frequently have those paranormal experiences. <laughs> And uh, right now it is about 1 a.m. in the morning. The place that I see it is a little bit lit more than usual. I will show you. All right, it's a little more lit than usual, but it is 1 a.m. Um, birds are going strong for whatever reason. But yeah, there is an earthy in front of me. Typically when there's paranormal, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> it's either in front of this house or in between those two houses or in front of this house. But sometimes it's on the street and on this like sidewalk. Ghost, of course, is he won't go to the bathroom because there's something here and he knows it. Yep, thought I would show y'all. Maybe you guys can catch it in the footage if you freeze it and just um go by frame by frame but uh yeah <laughs> it's definitely creepy most of the time when it's not that lit i think the camera here does a better job at getting the light even though there are no street lights on this part of the street way down there there is but not over here plus where i live there's no street lights period so yeah very interesting and typically when i go on my walks with him he catches something and like um and when i say catch something he'll look one way and i'll be like oh shit that's an earthy or oh shit it's a top form <laughs> These birds be bussing right now, seriously. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little dog walk. And uh, one thing about Philly is it's haunted as fuck. Haunted as fuck, okay? It don't matter where you go. Every street, there's something. And I'm sorry that my lighting sucks. Ah, he's gonna trip me. My lighting sucks because I'm, I'm poor. <laughs> and I don't have a light. To help me um so bear with me until i get into a lit area <sighs> but the goal of this little adventure is to get ghost to poo because he won't go there since there's an earthy in the way <sighs> i mean to be honest i wouldn't want someone to watch me go poopy anyway <laughs> so i get it i get it <sighs> Right, ghost? He's a diva. Let's see what else we can find today. There is a park nearby, and typically I've seen the fractal or residual energy of a, I would say, a girl in her early 20s, 18 to 20, I would say. And the residual energy is her doing drugs, which is really messed up. But, I mean, welcome to Philly. Come on, Goosey. That's one of his nicknames. All right, we're done peeing on everything. I thought this would be a good change from the typical serious content that I post every week. And my goal is to post twice a week, but I can't, um, what's the word? Put that in definite writing, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because shit always happens and I'm struggling to get stuff out fast enough uh, 
Hopefully I don't trigger this one dog here. Ghost, don't cause trouble. Come on. Ooh, lighting effects. <laughs> All right, so I am at the park. I am at the park. However, it looks like they now lock it up every night because I'm guessing drugs were a problem, which, duh. Seeing, <laughs> seeing the fractal or residual energy of a female doing drugs on the swing, yeah, obvious problem. So that's gonna be an issue because I wanted to film here and do um, REM pod sessions, but I would have to figure out either Talk to the police or the borough to see if I can get access. Because it would be cool to do sessions here. Especially when I know there's stuff here. So I had to cut my little uh, doggy ghost adventure short. Because the house that he always trips balls at which I couldn't film because A, it was dark, like too dark, but also B, there's too much like um, indicators or too much um, information on that house that could easily make it searchable and findable. And obviously it's a private residence, so I didn't want to do that to them. But, um, so we did succeed. We did get Ghost to go number two. However, right after that is when he tripped balls at that house and I almost fell in his dookie. <laughs> I think I sprained my ankle, but I played uh, crazy sports in high school and yeah. So this ain't nothing. It just hurts and it's going to suck for physical therapy tomorrow. But I thought, you know, this would be a, a fun, quick little video for you guys interested in, uh, I don't know, daily routines, but also like the location where I have a lot of paranormal experiences. And thankfully, it's not in my house. <laughs> Um, I only have them in my house when I am due for a cleansing, and I just did one um, right before we did the Garnet house on Lights and Midnight because I ain't having that stuff here. Mm-mm. Heck no. So, I'm good in the house. I'm good. It's just on the outside of the house. Yeah, it's a little questionable. But yeah, hope you like this short little video, and I will see you guys soon. Peace out.